before I actually joined Mercy, my goal was really to be at Mercy for one year. And then I'm out of here where I can earn more money and I can work in a, in a better environment rather than in the Bangkok slums. That was about 25 years ago that I joined Mercy. No one wanted me. It was best that I go down and work in the slums because they would they would accept me for my faults and failings and whatever I am. Mercy is not just helping poor family. It's a safe haven for children who've been used, who've been abused, who've been hurt in so many ways. It's a place that cares, that really cares for children and that gives children the opportunity of a very good education. It was not a glorious entrance or anything like that. It was a humble asking permission from the people, may I come? So involving the community makes Mercy very successful in everything that we do. We don't involve the community. There's no project. There's no empowerment. There's no improvement. I can come and live with you if, if you will allow me to. And if you will protect me. If you will keep me away from the bad guys and the drugs and the murder and all of these things. And I will try and repay you and they asked if I would be their priest and teach their kiddies how to read and write. So I did. And I still am. And we've taught 50,000 kids how to read and write. Actually, they've taught themselves. <laughs> Education is the only way to empower young people so that they can have a full potential life. We have 17 kindergarten. We have just under 1,000 children. We have about 70 young boys and girls living at Mercy. We have over 200 children who live in the community who we're helping and supporting to go to school. We have the elderly program. We have the handicap program. And we have many large buildings. And normally I would go around the bush, <laughs> but today I'm gonna be fully upfront you know, we need money for Mercy to fully operate. We need about two million US dollars per year. In the largest slum of Bangkok, Krong Thai, what would the children do without us? I don't even want to think of that day. To see the whole thing is an opening, a glimpse into the world you wouldn't find. And you don't think it's happening